As you know, I'm Kain Chan, the Tech Pro, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Angular application to Firebase for free. It's just uh, six simple steps. So basically, if you have a small application, you can deploy it for free in Firebase. Firebase is a service by Google. So this application, let me just uh, serve, serve this application so that we can just see what this application is all about. So it's a basic application I've built. So if I... Yeah, so it's building and hopefully it should be done. All right, so there we go. So if I go, if I follow the link, you can see this application I built, very basic application, but it works for any kind of application you want to build. So this is a basic UI, how to build this application. You can find this uh, the step-by-step -step in the description box uh, below this video. So it's basically bootstrap, angular material and stuff like that. <clears throat> So let's follow the steps here to deploy this application to Firebase. So the first step we want to do is to run command ng build pro. So we want to build this build this application for production. Again, if you are joining for the first time, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button below this video so you don't miss anything. So let me kind of shift this a little bit. If you want to get this application, please leave me a comment. I'm going to just send it to you. Uh, it helps you learn how to use Angular. So the first one, the first thing I'm going to do is to say ng build prod. So this is going to uh, create the build uh, uh, directory for the application and add the necessary dependencies. So this is the first step, and the second step says create a Firebase project. So this is also very easy. So to create a Firebase project, simply go to firebase.google.com firebase.google.com so that's your step two you need to create a firebase project right here so once here you should have a google account i already have so go to click on go to console right here and it takes you to this place i already have one project but i'm going to create a project by clicking here and i'm going to call this project um ui demo UI demo. All right, so UI demo, uh, UI demo project. Uh, let me just call it amazing UI demo. Okay, so amazing UI demo, you can see the name is available. So I'm going to click on continue and it says a few things. Simply click on continue and select an account. It's going to be this account and create the project. So it takes a couple of seconds and let's just wait for it to complete. Provisioning resources. And while we are waiting, let's just go to follow the remaining steps. So I'm going to simply go back to our VS Code. So now we are in step three that says install Firebase tools. So install Firebase tools is also simple. Simply say npm install minus g Firebase tools all right so firebase tools is, uh, is installing right now and if i go back to the browser you can see our project is ready right now so this is basically what you need to do i already have a number of projects here um so if i you can see amazing ui demo and also i have a solver doc project all right, so let's go to follow the next step. Step four says login using Firebase CLI. Okay, so it says rejected by operating system. So I'm simply going to say, I'm simply going to use sudo. sudo npm install Firebase tools, put in my password. And now it will install successfully. So this is the problem with Mac. For Windows, it might just be so easy. All right, so after now, we have completed step four. You can see how easy it is. You can see it, uh, it, it installed Firebase tools. So if you look at your project at this point, you can see that we have, um, let me just kind of, okay, we need to initialize. So we need to take the next step that says uh, Firebase login. So I'm gonna say Firebase login. So in this case, it's going to authenticate your project to be able to uh, use uh, Firebase on Google. So you can see already logged in as kind of the genius. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to initialize the project. So I'm going to say Firebase init. So in this case, it's going to create uh, a number of files in your directory. So Firebase init. 
And now if you look at what happens here, you can see we now have, um, I think you should have, let's just shift this. Okay, so we need to complete this step, but you can see Firebase debug has been created right here. We have also the dist, um, the dist uh, folder. All right, so here we see we have database configuration and a whole lot of things. So choose the the fourth one that says hosting, configure and deploy Firebase hosting to hosting site, select it and hit enter. Use an existing project, that is fine. I'm gonna just select the amazing UI demo because it's gonna list my projects available in Firebase right here. So I'm gonna just choose this one. Uh, what do you want to use as your public directory? So now the public directory normally uh, is placed inside this Angular UI demo. Uh, but I think I should just leave it at public. So I'm going to, let me see. So we have this Angular UI demo. So that's my public directory. So make sure you have uh, you, you take note of what your public directory is because this folder is created for us. So I'm going to just put it right there, this slash angular UI demo. Uh, I think I got the spelling correctly. Um, let me just make sure everything is okay. So you have to enter exactly what you have here and I'm going to hit enter. Configure single page. That is fine, no problem. Uh, GitHub, not necessary for now because this is just a demo. All right, so we have um, overwrite, no. All right, so everything is complete. We have initialized our project at this point. So if you, if I open the disk folder, you can see we have the index.html uh, right here. Okay, but you don't have to worry about this. So the next thing you want to do now, the very last thing we want to do to get our application up there in the cloud is to say Firebase deploy. Firebase deploy. Uh, yeah, Firebase deploy. Let's see how it goes. Deploying hosting and let's see, it completes well, in fairly very short time. So you can see it complete. So we can see it tells us hosting URL, HTTPS, amazing UI demo, web. So I'm gonna follow this link at this point. I'm gonna open it and hopefully we can see our amazing UI. Now you can see that this is deployed to the cloud. You can look at the URL and just to show you that this is not magic, I'm going to simply open it in another browser just to show you that it's working perfectly. So let me paste this right here and we can see that our application is right there deployed to the cloud very easily, very quickly uh, in Firebase. And Firebase can actually give you a whole lot of space, I think up to 10 gig. So it's something really, really very good and it's free. I actually discovered it not too long ago and I would like to recommend you try to use it. So I'm gonna stop here. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. If this has been informative for you, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment, like this video and share it around. And if you have challenges, uh, let me know as well. So we meet in the next tutorial.